Hey, this is Jets from 2002, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Planet Coaster, where we are sitting in my unknown park with no name and no theme. However, we have a beautiful start here, and we are using the realistic challenge number two with the parking lot. It's a scenario that I made, basically, for my own purposes, to make it more realistic. I will say, before I start actually getting to what I've done since the last episode, that I do appreciate all of the suggestions and ideas that I have been given. Thank you so much. Uh, that is the reason why I love playing this game with you guys and posting it on YouTube. I am going to get right to it, though, because in the last episode, I did finish most of the parking lot. However, I did not add cars, and I did not finish this area with trees and shrubbery and details and whatnot. Yes, yeah, so apparently we have two or three different cars, which are over here. We have the Jeep, we have this particular car, and this car over here. Now, it did take me some time to actually place them and change the colors and the wheels and basically make it more realistic. So it looks like we have a bunch of different cars in here. However, I was given a suggestion, besides all the themes and ideas that I've been working on looking at, that you guys have given me it's basically blown my mind because i'm not entirely sure what i'm doing at this point but i know i want to have several themes in this park to make it more exciting yes so basically this goes to dark winter dreams you mentioned the parking lot was kind of small considering i'm going to have a large park here and i know you could actually imagine the fact that the rest of the parking lot is off the map here but i was thinking wait Wait, and and then I got into the game and I zoomed down a little bit and I realized that the map is actually massive. And this is really tiny. So I was thinking, you know what? We can actually afford actually increasing the size of the parking lot. It's going to take me some time. I was going to eventually going to do the a train station or a transport ride in this episode. However, I figured let's actually finalize this and we'll take the idea of building a large parking lot. Like... A much larger parking lot so it is much more realistic and i will have to change the name of this scenario to realistic challenge number three but with a large parking lot and that is because i want to differentiate this one from the last one and uh, of course the link will be in the description below and of course in the comment to the steam workshop to be able to download the scenario and this way you can play around with the map yourself I, I will not be using the realistic challenge number two because this episode is going to be focused on tweaking this one. And then I'm going to be moving forward on that. So, oh yeah, you know what? I never did actually tell you guys. I did figure out what I was doing with the flowers. And I was just experimenting and it looks like, it looks like it actually looks a lot better this way. A lot better. And if you go over here, I have some of the flowers actually lined up over here too. And I changed the shrubbery over here. And I do like the idea of having these, these flowers like that. Now, I didn't actually recolor them because I was just trying it out. But I realized, oh, you know what? It actually looks pretty good. And it actually matches some of my rose bushes. But I think that's going to change because once I actually start expanding the parking lot, which means all of this is going to be moved this way. It's going to be moved back farther a little bit. And I might actually perhaps expand the parking lot two, three, maybe four times bigger. And since I have the basic template for the parking lot, which means I might actually change and add different types of cars and stuff like that too, I want to make sure that this is absolutely perfect before I start. I want to make sure every detail is right and then get your feedback on this one. Um, it's basically the gist of it. I want to take my time on this one and make it so much better than the last parks I have. There were so many mistakes. I just, I, I don't want to go through and make the same mistakes over again. But I did like the idea of having a much more realistic park a lot. I did a lot of thinking about it and went, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. And then I can just upload it to the Steam Workshop as an extra scenario. So you have pretty, pretty much all three. And then we can start actually working on the park. And by then I will probably have all the ideas pretty much formulated of course i'm going to put the transport ride first and then from there i'm going to figure out what i'm actually doing with the theme because that is going to be necessary especially when i'm going to be having the stations and whatnot 
but you know what? Let's not waste any time in this episode. Let's get right to it. I say sit back, relax, and enjoy the awesome, lovely speed build of the tweakage of the realistic challenge number three with the large parking lot.
Well, you guys, welcome to my large parking lot. Let's pad around for a second. This is the left over here. And then we're going to pad around to the right. As you can see, much detail. And I really like the little flower beds in between. I was thinking about sidewalks and whatnot, or having path, or adding extra spawn points out here. But you know what? I thought it was kind of pointless at this point. Let's just cedarify it, right? So basically, took me a very long time, but this is pretty much the gist of it. I mean, look at this. I, I really do love this. This was a good idea. I, this is four times bigger than it was, and I liked this idea better than having just one set parking lot. Now, it was a lot easier that I actually had two different sides of the parking lots. So if you saw the speed build, you pretty much, I, I selected one, and I kind of reversed it, and I copied it over here. So this is the same as this, just reversed. Same thing went over here, and I did a zigzag. This way there could be a pretty much a, a different kind of, uh, so it looks different. I don't know how to say it. It just looks different. So let's go over here, and uh, I didn't change any of the scenery over here. And I did not add any billboards. Why is there so many people here? <laughs> Folks, there's no park. What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, look at this. If you actually just this is the view from out here, right? Through the spawn point. Oh, you know what? I never did fix the cop car, did I? Shall I do that right now? No. Let, let's not. That that might take me another minute or two. Let's not even bother. So here we go. We're gonna zoom out a little bit here. And there you go. Realistic? You tell me. How do you like it? Please let me know. I mean, this is going to be updated, and you're going to see it in the Steam Workshop. Like I said, link is in the description if you want to download it. And after this, we are definitely going to get started on the park. Now that we have our parking lot set, and uh, this is a very fantastic idea. I am so glad I, <laughs> I made it much more realistic. I, I'm actually enjoying this so much better. So... On that note, if you did enjoy the episode, please hit that like button below. Feel free to judge me in the comments. Leave some awesome feedback. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more episodes of Planet Coaster. And of course, much more. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.